What's going on dudes? I got an oven that's popping the breaker. I went ahead and shut it off, but as soon as you throw it, it snaps back into the middle. It's a boosher. I'm pull the oven out and go in through the back. I have to check the terminal block here on the bottom and take all these screws out. All right, got the ones at the top out. I've seen this happen before when I was working in student housing, but when it when that oven did it, it would knock the whole apartment out. The whole the massive two amp, 200 amp breaker would blow the whole apartment out. But this one is just uh, ooh. This one's just popping the breaker and not throwing the whole apartment. There it is. The old terminal blocks roasted. These screws on tight. <clears throat> Gotta get all the screws out. I'm gonna go grab another cord too. This black wire is a little, a little toasty. I haven't used my channel locks on the end of this nut driver to, to get it un loosened up. I'm just gonna put in a new black wire. Major surgery here, Skid. Major surgery. To get the terminal block off, you have to undo that screw that right there. And that one right there, it's just two. Get in that driver and Come right off. Hopefully that bottom one ain't charred up. Or I have to gouge some of that melted plastic out to get to it. Ugh, and it is. I just took my needle nose and broke off some of that melted plastic. Pretty violent. It's like an explosion. There's my new terminal block. I'll install this and then I'll run a new black wire. Line up the screw hole there. There we go. Nice and tight. Ugh. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to run a new black wire. Yeah, I was putting on my new black wire and I noticed there's some char up in this switch here. So I'm gonna change that out too. I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but it's all black up in there. The rest look good. It's just this one has some, some char in it. Might be the culprit, might not be, but while I'm here, I'm gonna change that out too. Easy to do, just plug and play wire for wire 
And to take it off, <clears throat> these handles just pull off. Take those two screws out and it pops out the back. All right, skid bros, I got the old wire out. Got the new one wired in. There's the old crispy piece. There's the crispy piece that I cut. Put the new cord in. We'll just wire it back up. It's an easy job, it's just pretty tedious. Especially since the black wire was all charred up and I had to run a new one. Go black, white, and red all the way down. Black, white, red. I won't film this whole process. Try to keep these videos as short as I can. You get the point. Yeah, a quick little tip here before you put the white wire on in the middle. Do the ground wire first, because once you put the white wire on, it's gonna be hard to get back back here to put the ground wire on. So put that on first before you do the white. All right, dudes, I got the new terminal block mounted and wired up. No more char. I ran a new black wire. That black wire connects to this switch, this switch, onto the motherboard, daisy chains to this switch and this switch. This is the one that was all charred and black. I just put a new one in. All right, I'm fired up. Should be good to go. All right, that's always a good sign. All right, we have power. Let's check the eyes. This is the switch that I replaced. Just make sure the burners are getting hot. I'm not throwing any breakers. Good to go. All right, I'm just poking around on it with my meter, making sure I'm not getting any kind of crazy voltages and 242 volts, that's good. Maybe just one of those flute things. Like I said, I've seen this before when I was working in student housing and it was knocking the power out to the whole apartment. The 200 amp breaker feeding the apartment was popping when the oven would turn on. Really weird. I mean, it could have been the switch up here. It was all charred when they turned on the eye. But they're good to go now. All right, Skid Bros. This oily, nasty thing is back in action. Here's the casualties from the battle. You can see that char up in there now. You can see it good, that's the switch. All right, they're good to go. Thank you all for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show.